Thank you very much uh, for the nice words and for inviting me, Mariana, uh, Gabriela. This is a very big honor to me to be here and to discuss what we are working on. And I think this is a very unique conference, especially for one thing that you don't see very much, that organizers are all female. <laughs> so this is especially interesting, and I really encourage uh, to continue in this way. Uh, so today, um, I would like to, 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 mention, to comment to you one of our research lines that is really related to self-supervised. Uh, learning and especially our application food images. But I will begin with some question to the audience. Which is the year of CNNs? What do you think? Which one? 2012. Okay, 2012. Some other opinion? 1998. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so CNNs came from 1998, when Lecun published uh, in co-authors, published the CNNs, okay? And uh, in fact, uh, CNNs were even created before, uh, but uh, it's really very funny when he explained how difficult it was to him to publish the paper. <laughs> so he got several rejections before publishing the paper. This is encouraging for people that also, sometimes <laughs> our papers could be rejected. Um, but there was uh, this uh, gap, right, from 1998 to 2012. So what happened these 14 years? What happened in these 12, 14 years is that in 2009, the ImageNet appeared. And uh, again, you can go to the leave FA uh, TED Talk and see how difficult it was to publish this ImageNet uh, and uh, how difficult it was to fund because it was really very complicated to create it. Okay, so 2012 that for all of us is considered like when the CNS really began interesting is because in 2012, the CNNs got better than human performance on object recognition. And that's why we began to believe to CN in CNNs. Now, it may makes us think that when we think about our models, we never can think just from one aspect. Always, in order to go forward, we need three very important aspects that 